Great physicality, getting good movement up front. First and goal from just outside the 10 after the five-yard penalty. Play action pass. Out in space. Robinson inside the five and into the end zone for the Texas touchdown. His first touchdown of this season comes here in Austin against Texas Tech. Bert Auburn, 97 of 97 for his career on extra points. And after a seven play, 56 yard drive that took just over three and a half minutes. Finds his quick six foot nine tight end. What a play. Morton in trouble again. He's got a receiver downfield. And it's picked off. What a great play by Muhammad. Morton had a receiver, but the ball hung in the air. The field is an interception by the Jordan defense. Bradley was open, but Muhammad with the interception. No team has ever made it with two losses. Ewer is in trouble, flips it downfield, and what a catch by Sanders. What a throw to Ewer is backpedaling as Ben Roberts was trying to track him down. It's a gain of 22. Well, they're going to dial up the pressure. Ben Roberts coming in, and then you'll see Josiah Pierre. And the fifth leading scorer in the country, Burt Auburn. 34-yard try. Has made 15 consecutive field goals, matching a Texas record. High snap. Morton pulls it down, being chased by Burke, throwing into the end zone, incomplete. Some hand fighting and a flag. Xavier White and Keaton Crawford got tangled up in the end zone. Penalty marker down. I think this is going to go on Keaton Crawford. Sprint action, tried to hit wide on a corner route. A lot of contact down the field. and Pass interference, defense number 21. A foul occurred in the end zone. My rule the ball will be placed on the two-yard line. Automatic first down. From the two, well, they just hammer it here with Brooks against that great front. No, Morton keeping it into the end zone for the touchdown. Maybe Texas thought that's what the Red Raiders were going to do. Because everybody collapsed on top. And Baron Morton took it in for a huge score. Difference maker in that first quarter for Texas Tech. Texas able to run the ball here. Big hole for Jane Blue. At great speed. Outrunning everybody. Blue into the end zone. Touchdown. 69 yards. The coach has said. started the game. Tyler Shuck started the beginning of the year. Morton's pass batted. And was it Tavondre Sweat who got a hand on an incomplete pass, but Sweat, who was recently named just one of two defensive players as a finalist for the Walter Camp Player of the Year Award. Well, they bring a pressure. Binda gets home, and it's big Tavondre Sweat. He's done that so many times throughout the course of the year. 6'4", 360, so stout against the run, a good interior pass rusher, but he has a great knack for shutting down his pass rush, getting those big paws, and throwing lanes. Leatu Latu is one of the best edge rushers in the country. He's the only other defensive player on that 10-man list for the Walter Camp. Morton, Walla back at the 30 by Anthony Hill. Just recovered a block punt, looking to add to their lead. Viewers, pump fake, fires, open receiver, caught, worthy. And they're going to say it's out of bounds, incomplete. Hit the pylon before he made the catch. Boy, missed opportunity. Xavier Worthy, little decoy, acting as if he's going to block on a swing screen and then releases. Nobody identifies him as Worthy wide open the corner of the end zone. But hit the pylon. Yeah, hit the pylon, yeah. It's like he lost track of where he was on the field. Just now kept if you drifting. 
Going to break, we're trying to identify the injured Texas player. Couldn't see the number. It's Xavier Worthy, who also was hurt last week against Iowa State. He is in the tent right now. And here's the injury as he and Brendan Jordan both shaken up on this play. Left and the Jordan leg. Texas Tech. Left leg got caught as Ben Roberts rolled into him. Hopefully we'll have an update for you quickly on Xavier Worthy. Keep in mind, Jonathan Brooks again, their star running back out for the year, injured against TCU two weeks ago, tore his ACL, due for surgery next week. Quinn Ewers missed some time with an injured throwing shoulder, high snap, and the kick is good again for Bert Auburn, who has set the school record all by himself. From the inside out. Ewers getting rid of it here. To Whittington inside the 25, coming all the way over to this side of the field and dumped at the 19. Another first down gain of 12. I love some of the play design from Steve Sarkeesian. Little throwback screen to Jordan Whittington, set up perfectly. The lineman out front and in the of this Texas football team. Yours under thrown and intercepted in the end zone. Braylon Lux with a huge pick as Texas was about to Early extend the lead. Interception. Touchback. Why do the Red Raiders need that? Had to have it, Dave. Had to have it. Had to come up with a play, come up with a stop. And it's Braylon Lux, just one-on-one. -on -one. But Adonai Mitchell, and he's trying to throw the fade. He doesn't get any air underneath the football. And I love the ball skills for our Braylon Lux. He's only 5'11", but he climbs the ladder, high points the football, and gets a huge Texas Tech. Interception tonight. They held Iowa State to nine rushing yards last week. Texas did. That pass underthrown, and Terrence Brooks got the interception for the Longhorns. So the Red Raiders give it right back. Rolling with on the Brooks field is an interception. Giving his first third game. interception of the season. Well, this is just sticky, outstanding coverage. Bradley unable to get any separation whatsoever. Just right in the hip pocket of the wide receiver and makes an outstanding play going to the ground, turning into the wide receiver. And arms underneath the football. I just wanted to make sure that the arms underneath the football. That's just an excellent play in tight man-to-man -man coverage, undercutting that route and get the takeaway for the Longhorns. That's really hard. Ewers to the air. Everybody covered. Ewers throws it out of the back of the end zone as he took a shot back at the 15-yard line from Bradford. It'll be four down. Red Raiders hold again in the red zone. It's good coverage. Looked like Jordan Whittington broke open late, but Quinn Ewers unable to find him, and the pressure gets home at the end of this pass play. Nice job by him as Tony Bradford gets the second big hit of that series on Quinn Ewers and throws out of the back of the end zone. And so Burt Auburn, who's already made two in a, uh, field goals in this game and now 16 in a row, 26-yarder. And three more points for the Longhorns, extending the lead to 16. With three for three today, 17 consecutive made field goals, making it 18. This guy can't miss. Unconscious right now. Like Steph Curry from deep. This doesn't matter. 99 yards. And they got stopped several times in the red zone and had to settle for field goals. Otherwise, he might have 40 points right now. Keelan Robinson on the return. There he goes. Robinson inside the 40. They finally get a chance. Everybody breaks a tackle. And Robinson looking back at the defender. Touchdown, Texas. 95 yards. Wow, speed kills, and this Texas team is chock full. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to bring up, how about that lettuce, though, on Burt Auburn? Some <laughs> of the best hair I've seen all season. That's phenomenal. Some of us are jealous. <laughs> Texas football team is very for real. You 
Morris finds Worthy. And Worthy reaches out for the end zone. Touchdown. The fifth touchdown catch of the year for Xavier Worthy. Xavier Worthy, zone coverage once again, finds that open grass right in front. Adrian Taylor Demerson stretches it out over the front of the end zone. Mm, it's going to be really, really close. All it has to do is cross the front of that. I think right as that knee hit, that ball was crossing the front of the goal line. Every play is reviewed, though, so they're already looking at it and doesn't look like they're going to stop play. And the extra point makes it 43 to 7 as Morton in trouble. And it's Andre Sweat in the back. That hit the foot. That didn't hit the ground. It's picked off by Bush. That hit the foot of a Texas Tech player. So it's a pick six for Bush. A moment. Alabama winning the SEC, beating Georgia, would, would take them out of the equation they're in. Winning the SEC and beating Georgia, which has won 30 games in a row, whatever it is. Xavier Worthy on the move. And the discussion will have to wait. Worthy past the 40. Oh, face plants. A Red Raider as he gets out of bounds. And that's what makes him different than his two uncles. Makes him a lot like his granddaddy. Big hole for saving on Red. And Red down to the 20 yard line. Tom, where did you have Arch ranked? Because Arch Manning has just made his Texas debut. He hadn't played all year. The fans have been waiting for this. And he's finally in the game. He hands it off on his first snap to save on Red. And they blow it dead at the 49. He just wanted to get a chance to throw it, Dave. There it is. Manning getting out of trouble, keeping it, staying in bounds, and now scooting out of play. Gain of about 12, third and goal. And you see the athleticism Tom was just documenting and talking about. Evades the rusher coming off the end. Manning. Fires. Incomplete. Going for John Tay Cook. Texas Tech just not able to capitalize on opportunities when they've been there this evening. Nobody has left this stadium. Why? Because they want to see more Arch Manning. And we're going to get that here when we come back after the fair catch. I feel better that I'm still alive based <laughs> on after all the threats to being tossed out of the booth. Manning! Oh boy, there's the arm talent on display, completing it to Cook. And John Tay Cook, a fellow true freshman, alongside Manning with a nice run. Wow. Talented quarterback to talented wide receiver. That's true freshman to true freshman. I like how John Tay Cook just sits down, waits. On the move, Arch Manning identifies him in the speed in the open field. Very real for John Tay Cook. For Arch Manning, it is college debut. And just going to keep it on the ground here. Wiser able to break a tackle. Another one. And then finally cut down at the 49 by Tony Bradford for being one step closer to the first Big 12 championship in 14 years and still being in position. Play for the national championship. They got a conversion with Manning throwing it on target to Kane. Murphy, who started a couple games this year. Weisner, nice move down the sideline, finally ripped down inside the 20. 40-second play clock, depending on what happens here. Texas obviously taking it down as far as it can. Weisner on the cutback, inside the five, dies to the end zone. Touchdown, Texas. Why not? Finishing out Big 12 regular season play in style with 56 points on the board. 
Well, the offensive line, and maybe the backups, but they're getting it done. Cameron Williams, 56 on the right side. Nice job helping secure. Valdez, first down. There's one second left, though. There's technically one second. Are they going to let it off? They let it go. And that's it. Texas is off to the Big 12 championship game.